Hi everyone, welcome back to Birish Podcast. This video is going to be the discussion about the financial statement of Karnataka Bank. So before we begin this video, we'll discuss the few questions which was asked regarding the TMB. And the question is, uh, in TMB the reserves is equal to the market cap. Does it affect the overall stock price of bank? Okay, the reason why this has some significance, mm. you can read into this, right? Is that what the market feels is, that the bank is value is as good as its reserves, mm. meaning the reserves is amount of cash it has. Yeah. So the market feels that TNB bank is valued as good as the reserves it holds, mm. meaning that it doesn't feel that the future of TNB is that good for okay. it to take a risk mm. of raising the market cap, meaning raising the price. What is market capitalization? Number of outstanding shares into the market mm. share price. So the market feels raising the market capitalization is not worth it right now for mm -hmm. TMB Bank because the future profit for this bank doesn't seem to be great. So there's a risk perception that market feels right now there is no growth prospect in TNB, so it's sticking it there. Mm. So there's two ways to look at it. Not that the market is right. We know this. Yeah. The markets can undervalue things, overvalue mm -hmm. things. So you as an investor have to study TNB Bank. Mm. Look at the guy running the bank and decide. Mm. The person running the bank. Because bank operations across all banks are the same. Banks lend money, they take deposits. So there's no secret in this business. Mm. So what you have to look at is the market presence of the bank. How are customers reacting to the bank? Mm. What is the bank doing to reach customers? How is the bank operations? Mm. How is it to do business with this bank? And who's running this bank? Yeah. And what do you think about the person running the bank? Based on all that, you can say, okay, the market is wrong. Mm. TNB prices should be higher or TNB prices should be lower. But I would not use this reserve and market capitalization as a metric. I would rather use price to book as a metric, which Anand has been talking mm. about. That metric is far more effective for me than these metrics. But uh, each person to their own. Yeah. I won't use this. Mm. I won't go based on this. Mm. And looking at the financial statement, uh, in balance sheet there is a term called contingent liabilities. Mm. So what does it mean? Okay, mm -hmm. first the definition I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. It refers to potential liabilities that might arise in the future depending on the outcome of certain events. Mm -hmm. So, what does that mean? That means, let's say there's a case going on, bank, mm -hmm. income tax case going on or some other case going like on. Like it bank happened will, with the Manapuram. Correct, and the bank will have to pay this money. Mm -hmm. So, they're setting that money aside now itself. Mm -hmm. So, they're saying there is a liability that may come. Okay. If it comes, we'll have to pay mm -hmm. if they lose the case. Mm. So, the, it's not an actual liability, mm. it may come if certain conditions are met. Mm. So, that is what contingent liability is. It's mm. not only there in banks, it will be there in companies also. Everybody will have one contingent liability. Whoever has one lawsuit against them, in their balance sheet, there will be a contingent liability going on. Okay. And looking at the profit and loss statement, uh, there is a uh, segment called appropriations and a uh, lot of things are transferred. Yes. So what, is, what does the word appropriations mean? Like Allocating, mm. right? Setting aside. Mm. That means you have so much money. Yes. Then you appropriate for my home loan, mm. appropriate for my okay. bike loan, I appropriate for the rent. This yes. will be taken from the reserves or something? from the net profit. Okay. So because of the profit is mm. income mm. statement mm. looking at. So the statutory first one is the transfer to statutory reserve by law by RBI. They are mandated banks should maintain certain reserve. They legally require this. So he's setting aside for that reserve. Second is revenue reserve. This is setting aside a portion of the for future use. Mm. The bank itself on their own accord saying for free investing in business or unexpected expenses, mm. they're setting some money aside. Then they have something known as special reserve, which comes under income tax, which the reserve is set aside for specific provisions under income tax act, to, which may provide certain tax benefits to the mm. bank. So it's keeping that aside. Then comes investment uh, reserve amount that indicates the funds which are being set aside in the reserve account to cover specific investment losses for specific reasons the bank is setting it up. Then the next one is dividend paid. That is what is paying the shareholders. Yeah. That is also being taken out of the profit. Then the balance carried over to the balance sheet. So after everything is appropriated and everything is taken out, mm. this is the amount which will be carried to the balance sheet. Okay. Balance sheet is what? Did Snapshot of current financial uh, yeah. health. So that moment. Mm. Right. Mm. So it's telling you. So, in carried forward, it's just moving from one column to another. Mm. If you know balance sheet and you know accounts, you'll know what that is about. But other than that, it's nothing that's saying in a layman's way, it will be like saying, after everything is gone, this is the balance. Okay. After my mm. 1000 rupee salary, I've given 100 rupees here, 100 rupees uh -huh. there. 
everything finally left this is my balance mm. that is what scary for so last week we discussed about the amortization and depreciation in the lnt and itc mm. so for a company amortization means that the machineries will depreciate in value so we can calculate that for a bank how does amortization work amortization in the bank's balance sheet is known as amortization held to maturity mm. that is a bank's bond it gives out bonds right so it refers to gradual reduction of the premium paid over time to certain investments the banks has made which is the premium for the bonds when the bank makes purchase of mm. bonds and also bonds which is giving out also it is according to that mm. amortization for a bank the assets are that okay. you're right in a factory you have machines and all mm. that in a bank its assets are all related to money mm. and where can an amortization come into picture is is bonds mm. so the bonds it buys and it's holding okay. those are the assets like factories have machines mm -hmm. banks have bonds investment classes mm -hmm. so amortization in that it will reflect as this i hope that clarifies yeah. but like i said all this is wonderful mm. right but we do not look into this when we are investing into banks mm. it is nice to read in a balance sheet but in a bank mm. we focus on Price to book. Yeah, price to book. Mm. And if it's value there, then who's running the bank? Because mm. the most critical thing in the bank is who's running it. Mm. Who's the one signing? The big boss who's signing the checks. numbers. Mm. Yeah, because he's the one who will be deciding if Vijay Malia gets 1000 crores. We saw what happened in ICICI with mm. Kochar. So that person decides who gets mm. the money. Mm. So as an investor, that is whom you should pay most attention to. All this is very nice. Mm. And th all this is highly regulated in India by RBI. Okay. So there's little wiggle room in all this. Mm. But where you should pay most attention is the guy running the bank mm. and price to book. Is there value in the bank? This is what you should focus on. Okay. But this would be more effective, like I've been repeatedly telling you, mm. in a micro cap company or a micro finance. So for sure, next video, it will be discussion about the micro cap company. Mm. Sure. <laughs> so it's related to pharma company. Sure. Mm. We will. So when you are ready to discuss, mm. you have found a micro cap to your liking, we will discuss it. Yeah. It was suggested by Albin. Oh, so then it's even better. Let's yeah. see. I'm curious. <laughs> Maybe to see. Have future prospects also. Sure. Mm. We will discuss that. Yes. So, thanks for watching the video. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends whom you think it will be helpful for them. And uh, if you want any specific topics to be discussed in the podcast videos, I'll place my Instagram ID below. So, you can message me and reach out to me and ask for the companies and topics which you want to discuss in the future Be Rich podcast videos. And uh, please subscribe to this channel for more kind of videos. And see you in another episode with an interesting topic. Thanks for watching the video. And all the videos are edited by my yeah. friend Arun here. And he also has from free time now and then to freelance. Mm -hmm. If you would like to give some work to him, he's a great graphic designer. If you're looking some, for some graphic design work or you're looking for some video editing, to be done, you can always reach out to Arun also on Instagram. Mm -hmm. He'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you. Thank you.